Hey everyone, back to you to this evening's video. Going to do a bit of an event sort of roundup uh, this evening. Uh, going to have a look at the Bristol Balloon Festival, which is taking place um, next weekend, and then we'll go on to the following weekend, um, which is uh, going to be the weekend of the festival uh, at, Ch at Chelmsford in Essex and also at, in, uh, at uh, Staffordshire. Uh, I believe there's also going to be a balloon, the balloon festival going on in Northamptonshire as uh, as well that weekend. Uh, so we'll uh, talk about that in a moment. Now, before we go on with all of these events, just want to talk about the advertising. There's green keyword ads on my pages at gatsworthbiz.com. If you rob your cursor over green keywords, they'll display as if you click through the word. Uh, you'll go through to the advertised website and you'll be supporting gatsworthbiz.com by doing that. So starting off with the Bristol Balloon Festival. This is running from the 8th to the 11th of uh, August. But we're going to start on Friday the 9th because uh, I think uh, it's on the Friday but uh, things really start kicking off with uh, these festivals. Um, and this is a pretty good chart actually for Friday. We've got the Azores high reaching in off the Atlantic. That's always a good sign if you're looking for decent weather. Um, there is a bit of a weather front coming through but it's very weak so probably producing more than a band of cloud. These green curves are suggesting light rain but in actuality I think that will probably just be uh, a band of cloud really coming through. Pretty warm as well, near normal temperatures really uh, for uh, the 9th of August, somewhere around 21 or 22 degrees. That's into the low 70s Fahrenheit. So pretty good for Friday. Going into Saturday, uh, the 10th of August, the Azores highs reaching in very nicely there across the country. As I say, it's always a good sign. Uh, it's mainly dry, in fact, it's universally dry there on that forecast for Saturday the 10th. And it's warm as well, with temperatures in good sunny spells up to 24 or 25 degrees. 25 is 77 Fahrenheit so that would definitely be a day uh, for getting the balloons up on Saturday. Um, for Sunday the 11th we are bringing down a cold front then the Azores High is pulling back out into the Atlantic and we are bringing a cold front down through the country so a band of cloud and rain is moving southwards. Um, it's a week away though so obviously it's a long way out to be trying to pin down detail but there is the suggestion there that uh, things may be due to deteriorate on the last day of the festival uh, with a band of rain moving south. It's warm before that band of rain arrives, with temperatures up to 24 or 25, but obviously as the rain um, arrives, temperatures would be uh, dipping down. But that's a pretty good update, uh, actually, for the Bristol Balloon Festival. There'd be a lot of very useful weather there uh, for getting those balloons up and for enjoying um, the festivities. So that's pretty uh, decent weather on the way for that. Uh, the next... Uh, period we're going through to is the 16th to the 18th of August. Actually the V Festival is running um, from the 17th to the 18th, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but I know a lot of you like to uh, go uh, the day before and pitch your tents up. Uh, so for Friday the 16th of August the Azores High is sitting there just to the west of the country really but it's still dominating the weather uh, by and large and it's mainly dry the suggestions that there's some sort of weak weather front coming through but it's a long way out. It's nearly uh, just under two weeks away so that's a long way out and you can't really take the detail on that decision. I think it would basically be a dry day for Friday the 16th and pretty warm too with temperatures somewhere in the low 20s. Now as we move through Saturday the 17th I'm afraid things do deteriorate. The uh, high pressure is weakening a lot and low pressure is developing in the Atlantic. So uh, for the V Festival at uh, Staffordshire and in Chelmsford it would be impacted by rain if that's right. Also the Northampton Balloon Festival which is going on this weekend would also be uh, impacted by uh, rain the suggestion is but there's heavy rain moving in off the Atlantic on Saturday the 17th and obviously with outbreaks of rain moving east and a strong wind it is cool with temperatures just into the uh, mid uh, to upper teens and the low uh, 20s at best 21 is 77 uh, is at 70 Fahrenheit. Uh, moving through to uh, the final day of these events for Sunday the 18th. Below pressure still sitting there to the northeast of the country. And we bring down a very cool northwesterly wind then, which is feeding in uh, sunshine and showers. And it's very cool too, with temperatures well below average at just uh, 15, 16, or 17. Um, degrees. Now the caveat with that of course is that it's a long way off. Uh, it's right at the extended range of the 
uh, GFS model. So don't take that too seriously at all. It would have to come a lot closer uh, before you'd have to be too concerned about what the uh, GFS is showing. Basically, when you're at the two-week period, you're just using the GFS model for trends. Uh, you can't take one run uh, and uh, say that's definitely what's going to happen. So don't be too concerned about that if you're interested in the Northampton Balloon Festival or the festival uh, over that weekend. But for Bristol, it's looking very nice indeed. Uh, a lot of useful weather. If you enjoyed this video, uh, let me know through the comment box and I'll be happy to do more uh, videos as these events come closer. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.